So yeah, uh, the next character, by the way, they have announced is going to be Ayn. So she is going to be paired with Zwei, but we don't see the Zwei announcement yet. So I'm guessing she's the only character for the time being. So this is her crawling pose. Very cool, very cool. So I don't think she will have any fan service. She seems like a regular schoolgirl. So I'm going to check out a couple of stuff, but let's just look at the developer's notes and see what is there going to be because there's a number of things here, right? So developer's notes 18th edition. So dear commanders, director of uh, Nikkei here, it's been a while since our last death notes. How do you enjoy the summer event story and surprise minigame collab? Okay, do you guys enjoy the Dave the Diver? Everybody here is a big fan, right? Dave the Diver collab. All right, so... Our dev team is always trying various things to provide new fun to our commanders. We are moved by the support of many commanders for our challenges. Still, sometimes we wonder and regret if we could provide, could have provided a more enjoyable experience. We will do our best to ensure the commanders can enjoy playing the game in a comfortable environment and we will strive to present even better content than before. Okay, so play content development progress update. The recently updated profile card decoration and title features provided satisfactory content to commanders. As such, Nikkei has recently updated its collection and decoration elements and is also preparing several updates in terms of play content. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really care too much about the profile card, title and stuff. Like, I know some people like those, but for me, it's like... Not really, you know? For me, for me, not really. You bought a Dave the Diver game, is fun. Yeah, I, I'm guessing uh, Nikkei does introduce some players to that game as well, right? Uh, in the last dev note, I briefly explained the contents and schedule of the update. Today, we will focus on the development status on some of these contents. Okay, so let's see. What have they been working on? Simulation Room Overclock Official Season. Okay, so the official Simulation Room Overclock will begin in late August. Simulation Room Overclock is a structured 12-week season. 12 weeks is around... So one, week we, one month, we have four weeks. So 12 weeks is about three months. Okay, so with the next season starting immediately after the current one ends, it is designed to allow you to acquire skill upgrade material every two weeks continuously. Wait, it's structured in a 12 week, but it's like every two weeks. Each season provides designated stage levels and options. However, some options change every two weeks. So we encourage commanders to decide wisely when to challenge the season records. The recommended command combat power for stages has increased compared to the beta season adjusted to align with the recent modification equipment updates. Uh-oh, so it might be even harder for newer players. Therefore, the actual difficulty level is similar to that of Beta Season 2. I see. So uh, as previously announced, please note that records from the Beta Season will be removed from profiles with the start of the official season of Simulation Room Overclock. All right, so we'll try that out. You know, it's just another Simulation Room uh, stuff with more advanced and more things to do. Some people might like it, some people might hate it, but it's something for you to experiment with, right, a little bit. Uh, I'm guessing they want to add an end game that's different from bosses, because, uh, you know, in most boss content, some characters shine than others, right? So in a simulation room overclock, I would say it's sort of like an end game, but it's like an AoE scenario because you, there's multiple enemies still. So they want to make some characters like AoE characters shine, for example, like the OG Scarlet, right? In that way, uh, Anomaly Intercession. We would like to introduce Anomaly Intercession. Anomaly Intercession introduces bosses of higher difficulty levels such as Combat Level D, Level S, and Special Anomaly Combat. Ooh, so this is going to be the new stuff. Featuring bosses like Ultras and Indie Villa, unseen in previous combats. We have seen Ultra before, right? This content is designed to be specifically uh, significantly challenging with a maximum Nikkei level limit set at 400. As the level of difficulty is high, Instead of rotating bosses, you will be able to select and challenge bosses directly. Moreover, we anticipate offering higher level rewards compared to Special Anomaly Interception. Okay, allowing you to strengthen manufacturer equipment and modification equipment options more actively. To be honest, I don't care about the manufacturer equipment that much. I care more about the unique, uh, the favorite items now. Those are like harder to obtain for me. But if there's that as well, that would be nice. Okay, let's see. Page 3. So Anomaly Intercession will be happening in August. So please look forward to it. Furthermore, we will listen carefully to your feedback even after the update to ensure there are no inconveniences. So if you guys have any feedback, we'll try it out. Make sure you guys send it to the dev notes, you know. I mean, send it to the developers and, you know, you know, type it in social media and stuff. Hopefully they listen. Champion Arena. Uh-oh. More stuff. Surface Content Development Update. 
So uh, development of Champion Arena has been progressing smoothly, but more time than planned may be required. Okay, for QA to ensure higher content completeness. While a definitive delay in schedule has not been confirmed, the current schedule is quite tight and there is a possibility that the update may occur after September. If there's a delay in the update, we will reconfirm it again. For surface content, oh, surface content is a different stuff, is it? Initial planning has been progressing. We have been begun prototype development. Depending on the result of the prototype, we will guide the direction and update schedule of the content. What the heck is a surface content? <coughs> Champion Arena Surface Content Development. So we got two different stuff. There's a lot of things that they're adding. I think this is too much. Too much game mode. What do you guys think? Nikki dailies instead of 40 minutes, now it's going to take two hours. Two hours every day. Okay, I like it. Harmony Cube level expansion. We plan to expand the level of Harmony Cube through the September update. Okay. So Harmony Cube right now can reach level 10, right? So now they plan to increase even more levels. So what will it do though? So as the level of Harmony Cube expands, Cube Ability Skills and Cube Equipment Slots will also expand. We are currently reviewing the appropriate level of expansion. Right now, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 10, maybe go up to 12. While the exact expanded Cube level has not been determined, please note that we plan to expand a minimum of 6 Cube Slots. So right now, there's 5 Cube Slots. Okay, so a little bit more expansion. Nikki Dailies now is going to be a part-time job. Okay, part-time job time. Let's go. Favorite item release cycle change. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The current favorite item release plan was to update the character's one favorite item every two months. Okay, so the most recent one was Viper. Viper was introduced. Uh, the first four was Laplace, Freema, Aksha, and... I forgot who's the other one. Please feel free to remind me. Uh, but... Yeah, those are the first four. Freema, Aksha, Laplace. Oh, Diesel. Yeah, it was Diesel. Yes. So, um, and then Viper was the recent one. So they are trying to increase more. Based on your feedback from the recent survey, we plan to change the favorite item release cycle to approximately three releases within about six months. So instead of every two months, it's going to be three releases within six months. It's still two months though. Am I crazy? <laughs> uh, it's still... So 6 months, you release 3... 6 divided by 3 is still 2. So it's still every 2 months. What are they changing? It's the same. Approximately 3 releases within about 6 months. So it's still the... What are they changing? It's the same thing. Is my maths wrong? Through this adjustment, we hope to secure more time for obtaining favorite items and Nikkei's growth currently available. I don't see the changes. If you said two releases within six months, so it's every three months instead of every two months. But now it's the same. So I don't know if they are, I don't know if they meant two releases or do they actually mean three because it's, it's the same. We at Nikkei will always listen to the opinions of our commanders and do our best to make it a better game. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to the many commanders who provided their valuable opinions through the survey. Appreciate that, of course. Make sure you guys do the survey. Players prefer having three new ones instead of one every two months. Three new ones instead of one every two months. I think they are still going to split it up within two months, right? No way they're going to release three at the same time. That's what I think. Or do they mean that they were they will give, they will release three characters and people will have a choice to choose between their three characters. Like at the first batch, they release four characters at once. Is that, is that what they meant? I don't see why that would be a thing because if a character within two months, you don't like it, like Viper, you can just skip that. If that's the case, right? Anyways, a new main chapter scenario, okay? You've been waiting for the long time. Main scenario chapter 31 and 32 are scheduled to be updated soon, okay? I love the main story in Nikkei. So hopefully, Hopefully, we'll see. In this story, the owner of the crystal region will appear. Oh, finally. And various incidents, including the opening of the previously closed coffin, will occur. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. You can also meet new characters and see beloved characters after a long time in this story, so please look forward to it. The main scenario will be updated in July. Wait. We are still in July, so that means next week? This week? Along with updates to Lost Sector, Tribe Tower, and new bosses. Okay, hi. Either next week, this week or next week. Archives Event Edition. We also have events being added to the archives. 
So it, that, those include see you again, BBQ Master. Okay, since many of you enjoyed them, it would be great to play them again. Furthermore, ACPU Freeze will be added to archives in August. So please show a lot of interest. Lastly, our development team and I feel the greatest reward when commanders enjoy Nike. Therefore, we always put a lot of effort into providing greater fun. <laughs> greater fun! We will continue to work hard until our intentions reach you and strive to become a better game, even if not perfect. If there are any inconveniences, we hope for your generous understanding and encourage you to provide feedback through customer service and service and communities. All right. Thank you for your constant update. So this is going to be for developers notes. Plenty of cool stuff. So now let's look at the latest patch notes. So uh, this girl will be introduced. She's going to be Miss Elise, Ein, uh Sniper Rifle. Anything fun to do around here? Sniper Rifle, Miss Elise. This so it's going to be pretty cool. as dirt. Isn't there anything fun to do around here? So they don't they haven't released the shooting post yet. I guess we'll see this that tomorrow, right? As dirt. Okay, so doesn't matter. So let's have a look at the latest patch then. So this is the latest patch. Okay, uh it's going to be on July 25th, so that's going to be in two more days. New characters iron. Attacker who uses near feathers to deal true damage. So she's gonna be a true damage character. Let's see then. How good how good is true damage? Uh, her burst skill can summon a large number of near feathers for explosive attacks. Okay, she's an electric type. Can she compete with everybody's favorite swimsuit Anis? We'll see. We'll see. And she's a missilis as well. And by the way, she's not going to be limited. You can see right here. Uh, they will add her to the to the banners after the banner ends. Any sparkling summer. It's time. Anis enjoyers. Look at that. Look at that. Who has been wanting to wait for Anis for the longest time? She is finally here, guys. Oh my god. Finally, Anis. So make sure you guys get her. She's one of the best lightning types still. If you have Privati and Dorothy. Alright, it passed really, really well. You just became an Anis fan. Anis makes a return this summer. So her swimsuit will be available once again. Uh, she's a Nikkei who becomes stronger while assisting electric code Nikkei attacks, but even though she's a supporter, she's actually a, a very strong damage dealer. Alright, don't be fooled. Just because she used the supporter gears, she's actually really strong. And she's a limited character. If you miss Anis again, you might have to wait one whole year again. And also, Helm Aquamarine. Now, Helm Aquamarine is a burst tool that has CDR, alright, that allows you to utilize the burst skills more frequently. And she's also electric. I do think that Anis is going to be the better pick between these two, right? But if you want to pull for both, you can consider pulling for both. These both are limited. Anis is limited. Helm is limited. The other one, Ayn, is not. So maybe you can skip Ayn. Uh, temporarily participating in case. New costume for Naga. I haven't seen this yet. But uh, this is going to be pretty good. We can see that. New costume for Tia. Lovely date. Can be obtained from Sunny Date event. Wait, is this like a free costume? Naga's costume from Mission Pass. Tia's costume from the Sunny Date event. So we get a free costume. New story event, Juvenile Days, okay, and of course the challenge stage, archives for see you again. Uh, okay, so 21 day login event, you're gonna be able to get Tia's costume for free. Free costume. Let's go. Skill reset. Time to reset the skills, alright guys? Whoever that you don't use, it's time to reset the skills. Solo Raids, everybody's favorite one, coming on August 2nd. And then Union Raid coming on July 26th. We're going to have Union Raids coming in three more days. Whoever that are looking for Union, feel free to contact Masaru. All right, just ping Masaru. He'll let you in the, the Union. We still have like, I think one slot or two slot. I can't remember. But make sure you're wholesome. All right, if you're toxic hit, you get kicked out. Coordinated operation. All right, co-op, everybody's favorite as well. So August 2nd. So new gameplay, chapter 31 and 32. Very, very cool. I'll be playing through that. Lost Sector update as well. New flaws in Tribe Tower up to 750. Increased maximum outpost defense to level 500. New Harmony Cube again. Okay, updated to favorite item in my late shop. Uh, okay, so that one is fine and all, right? 
the the update is going to be pretty cool and then august mission pass and let's see some packs updated and pretty much the standard stuff all right all right i think it's a pretty cool update i think all of these are pretty cool so we have plenty of good things coming i'll definitely have a anis guide for you guys as well make sure you guys are stay tuned for that uh because i know some people might be considering to pull for her so she's a very strong character definitely can vouch for her